that state two or more limit laws. This is a law for powers. If this limit exists and we want to find the limit of this function raised to a power, the limit of a power is the power of the limit. And the textbook puts a condition on this. The textbook assumes that n is a natural number. And we don't really need that condition, but it can be there. It's not doing any harm. So, for example, if we have the limit as x approaches 2 of 3x minus 1, to the third power. What this rule says is that we can take the limit of a power and rewrite it as a power of the limit. And this limit we can take using rules we've already learned. The limit of a sum is the sum of the limits. So we can break this limit apart. This three is a constant multiple. It can be pulled out. And now these limits we can take. The limit as x approaches two of x is two. The limit as x approaches 2 of 1 is 1. So this is 7 to the third, which turns out to be 343. And now the last rule on this list. This rule says that the limit of a root is the root of the limit. Um, in reference to something I said earlier, the nth root is f of x to the one over n power. So if you remember back here, I said that the textbook assumes that this power is a natural number, but you don't need to assume it. If you don't assume it, then rule seven and rule eight are two special cases of the same rule. But we are stating these as two different rules, even though they both involve powers. So, for example, um, the limit as x approaches 3 of the square root of x plus 1. What this rule says is that you can take this limit inside the square root. And then we can find this limit 
using rules we've already seen. The limit of a sum is the sum of the limits. And we wind up with two. Uh, this rule does have a minor restriction on it. Um, we are working with real numbers in this class. So we cannot use this rule if n is even and the limit as x approaches c is negative because that would give us an even root of a negative number and that's imaginary but other than that this rule goes through. And unlike the quotient rule, um, we're not actually going to have trouble with this. We're not going to run into cases where we want to take a limit, but can't because of this restriction. So it's a pretty minor thing.